When I was a small girl and we travelled always in London, um, we used to stand on Shepherd's Bush, um, we can still stand on Tooting Beck now, Crystal Palace, uh, Blackheath Common. So um, I've grown, basically grown up in London, even though I've grown up on a circus, I've, I've grown up in London. Well, there's a saying for circus people, they say you've either got the sawdust in your veins or you haven't, and the sawdust is well and truly planted in my veins. I've always loved the circus since I was a little tiny girl, always. But even when I was small, just a toddler, there's pictures of me. Then days we still had performing animals, um, sitting on elephants, horses. I can't even remember to learn to ride a horse. I've been able to ride all my life. Joe Cottle um, is my father. And uh, we've, even though we're a big circus, we are a family circus. My sisters are here, my nieces, my daughter. Uh, my other sister runs a ticket office, I work in the circus, so, and my father travels with us still today, even though he doesn't perform anymore, keeping us all in line. I love everything about it, I love the travelling, I love the going to different places and the different towns every week. Even when it's wet and muddy, I can just cope with it, I love it. <laughs> The troupe are not from a circus family, any of them, so they, we train them at our circus school in Wookie Hole. And then when they've finished their schooling and they've got to do the correct standard, they then come and join us on the show. My daughter's in the troupe and my nieces are in the troupe, but I've got another 12, so I'm, I have to do everything. You know, tell them to pick their costumes up. Any dramas, I have to sort it out. Can I take them to the doctors? Where's the nearest supermarket? Can you take me? Well, I'm basically the troupe chaperone, so we go. I get pretty lucky. Babies. Yeah, they're my babies. <laughs> Obviously there's no animals in the circus anymore, but we've got roller skating, bikes, wheel of death, magic, aerial silks, hula hoops. It's a full house of circus acts. Working in London now is very different, very, very different. I mean, we've been quite surprised here at Clapham Common because this is a, a, a known circus ground. I mean, it, back at when travelling for circuses first started, this is one of the very original grounds. And when I was a younger girl and the last time we stood it, our tent would be packed every night and now we're only half full, so I think um, I think the community of London has changed and things change all the time. Yeah, it's very different from when I was younger. Yeah, I love being part of a circus family and I like that we stay together. If you're just a couple and you're travelling all over the world, it's, sometimes it's very lonely because you've got to imagine you, you're not just moving country but you're moving a complete community because circus is community. So you have to join a new community but saying that you tend to know hundreds of people and you always know somebody that knows somebody. And generally you usually end up somewhere where you're related to somebody along the line as well. <laughs>So this is where we hold the open mic we have here in Cable Street Studios. Um, this will be the stage area. These candles will be lit to create a kind of atmosphere. Um, simple PA, couple of amps here, 